Hey guys, Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's quick video, I'm gonna talk all about clarifying. Yeah. Clarifying is like starting fresh, starting over. You are clearing your hair of any different types of buildups that might be present on the hair that might be a little bit too difficult for your conditioner washing or your sulfate free shampoo to remove. I've been wearing my hair naturally curly for about three years now, it's hard to believe, and I've been very dedicated um, to the natural texture of my hair. And for the first while, I didn't even think about clarifying my hair because everything seemed to be going really well. So I went from having this really damaged hair that wouldn't curl to having healthy, shiny, wash and go hair. It was amazing. And then all of a sudden, my hair just started to look like crap. It looked kind of weighed down, less curly and more wavy and the biggest confusion for me was that it looked really dry and parched and my roots looked really really dry so in order to try to combat this and again guys I've mentioned I'm not a professional stylist I'm just a regular old gal from Cape Breton wearing her hair curly sharing my experience with you but basically my experience was that I assumed because I don't really know any better, that my hair needed more moisture. So then I switched to a little bit of a heavier conditioner. I started using hair creams. I was using deep conditioning masks and my hair was just looking more parched and drier and I had no idea why. And I remember going for a trim and talking to my stylist and just saying like, my hair is so dry lately and it's hard to believe like my roots are so dry and I've only been washing my hair with conditioner. And she just said, you know, you definitely need to clarify your hair. And I never really thought about it like that. I assumed that you clarify your hair when your hair looks oily and there's, you know, buildup from heavy products or silicone and things like that. And your hair would look weighed down, look greasy and kind of look slimy looking. But then she explained to me that when you have curly and wavy hair and you're using a lot of product, even though most of the ingredients in these products are water soluble, they do have a tendency to cling to the hair shaft. And if you get a buildup of product and you're only using a very, very mild shampoo or conditioner to try to wash it out, um, you're going to end up with buildup and then the water and the moisture that your hair needs to look healthy and shiny and bouncy and to curl can't penetrate the hair shaft. There are other reasons to clarify your hair, but I would say the top three most common are what I just described. So all of a sudden, your hair just isn't performing well, it looks parched, it looks dry, and no matter what you do, you can't get the moisture back into it. You may need to start fresh and clarify your hair. The second reason you may want to clarify your hair is if your hair has buildup that's causing it to look oily or greasy or weighed down, your hair is limp, it's not bouncy and it feels dirty. The third reason you may want to clarify your hair is if you have tried products that just don't work for you. So let's say you've been trying new products for a week or so, maybe it's a new styling cream or a mousse or something like that, and then ever since using that product, you find you can't get your hair to look the way it did before you started using it, or maybe you went to a hair salon and you're like me and you're kind of curly girl method-ish, and they used their own products on your hair that may or may not contain heavy silicones. Um, and then if you find your hair just isn't bouncing back, then you may want to clarify your hair. Now I'm going to talk about what I would use to clarify my hair and discuss some different options. And then I'm also going to talk about how to add moisture back into your hair after the clarifying process. Your first option for clarifying your hair is to use a good clarifying shampoo. And I can't tell you which brand to choose because there's a hundred billion different kinds and I don't use a clarifying shampoo. But it is worth kind of looking into it to see what other people are using and to try some different things. I just can't justify going out and buying any more shampoo and conditioner than I already have in my house right now. So I don't have a clarifying shampoo. So what I would do is I would either use my husband's shampoo which is just a regular old shampoo that has sulfate in it. Or you could use what I used this morning and have also used in the past, dish soap. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate comments probably uh, for recommending this, but in the past, this has been the only thing that I had in my house that had sulfate in it. And this is actually 
what my professional stylist recommended because I think my buildup was really bad. I may do this once, twice a year, use dish soap on my hair. The other thing that you can try is an apple cider vinegar rinse. This is something I have also done in the past and I'm going to leave instructions for exactly how to do that and a video showing exactly how to do that linked in the description box. I just routinely evaluate my hair. And what I mean by that is if I'm having a bunch of good hair days and I'm using, you know, the same products, and then all of a sudden my hair starts to look either limp and filmy or look very dry, then I try to just combat that by washing my hair with my regular sulfate-free shampoo. And the one that I use right now is very gentle. It's the um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shea Moisture Shampoo, which smells weird, but it is really great. So I will sulfate-free shampoo my hair and then see how it goes. So if the day I shampoo my hair, it looks great. I know I don't necessarily need to clarify, but if I can't get on top of it, if I can't turn my hair around with the sulfate-free shampoo and it's going on days that it's either looking limp and filmy or dirty or my hair is very dry and parched looking, especially at the roots, um, and I tried co-washing it and that's not working, then I think, okay, time to start over. It's time to clarify my hair. And again, guys, this probably happens to me over the last three years, two or three times a year. And for the most part, it is when I'm trying new products or when I'm just over conditioning my hair. I have a little bit of a cast that I might need to break up, but other than that, I feel like my hair looks really shiny and really moisturized. And today I washed my scalp and hair with this dish soap. I kind of watered it down in my hands. I only used a tiny bit, like a nickel or a quarter sized amount, somewhere in between there. And I diluted it with warm, warm water and I scrubbed my scalp really, really well. And I actually let this run through my hair shaft onto my ends and I cleaned my entire head of hair. If your ends are really, really damaged, you may want to protect them by putting some conditioner on the ends of your hair before you start this process. But otherwise, I just went through all of my hair with this. Normally, I would follow up with a deep conditioner or a mask and that's what I'm recommending that you try. So if you are clarifying your hair for the first time, especially if you're gonna be using products that have sulfate in them, you can follow up with a mask and that's gonna add the moisture back into your hair. I did a mask probably three or four days ago because I didn't realize yet that I needed to clarify. And so I decided not to do a mask today. I just used whatever conditioner, silicone free conditioner I had in my shower, which is this. This is Tresemme Botanic Nourish and Replenish. It has no dyes, no paraben and no silicone. And I use this on and off a lot. And I really do like this conditioner. It's inexpensive. Um, and it's Curly Girl approved if you're following the Curly Girl method. So I followed up with this. I applied this to all of my hair. So yes, I even applied some to the root area of my hair and I left it in there for about two to three minutes, scrunched it in, and then I rinsed it out really, really well with warm water. After I rinsed the conditioner out, I styled my hair as usual using a hair cream and a gel. Oftentimes, I just use gel, but today I use both. And today I use this All About Curls Bouncy Cream by Zotos Professional, um, just a little tiny bit of it. My only complaint about this cream, I do love it, but my only complaint is that it is very thick and you really have to rub it between your hands and kind of warm it up in order to evenly spread it through your hair. So it's a little tiny bit difficult to apply, but I think it's worth it because I really like the product. So I put probably a dime sized amount of this in my hand and put it evenly throughout my soaking wet hair in the shower. I followed up using the praying hands technique all over my hair um, using this alcohol-free defining gel. And I have been using this for three years. This is my number one all-time favorite product. Um, and I will leave information about this product and the other products I used, including the Dawn dish soap, in the comment section below. I'm really happy with how my hair turned out today. My only complaint is that I have a little bit of a cast on my ends. 
Um, I think I use a little bit too much gel and that happens sometimes. So before I leave my house, I'm gonna break that up a little bit more and maybe fluff my hair up, but I'm really happy with how my hair turned out and I'm happy with how long and how fast my hair is growing. And that's a whole other topic for another video. But anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope it was helpful. Please try clarifying your hair if you're not doing it already. If you are doing it already and you have found a routine that works really well, please leave any products that you're using in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.